Now, from there, the final question is, well, now over the whole two years, after growing 15% for one year and 8% the second year, what's the percentage change when you think about the whole period of time? So I'm going to write down the percentage change. Okay, so how is this going to come about? This is how much the change is. This is, in fact, almost identical to how we went from absolute error to percentage error when we were doing that in measurement earlier. So here's my, if you like, my absolute change, how much I've increased. And to turn that into a percentage, to compare it to my original amount, I say, well, 2,400. That's where I began. Now, here's a question for you. Here's a question for you. Am I supposed to use 2,400? Or am I supposed to use this number? And how do you know which is which? That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. This is a legit question, right? And this is the reason why I'm, pa I'm pausing here is to say this, this gets confusing for people, okay? So often the site here, if you're following along with your working, I want you to, I want to give you a piece of argument that will help you see this is the correct way. You want to go off the original amount, not like what your final amount is, okay? Well, okay, so pause for a second. Remember how I said to you, like this line and this line. They're kind of taking two lines of working and cramming them into one, right? Do you remember that? But if you go back to where we did them separately, if I said, okay, what's the change, right? This is just doing it the slow way, working out the change first and then adding it all together. What's the change in the first year? How would I work that out? Just the change. Uh, I'm still going to have the 2400. Right? And yeah, I'm not going to include that 100 extra, right? So this is just the change. So what is this in words, right? In words, the change, the absolute, like in dollar amount, the change is your original amount times your percentage change. Does that make sense? This is really worth writing because it will be the justification for why this is the way it is. So I've got the original amount and I'm multiplying it by the percentage change. Okay. You see how I've done this? The change is 15%. So in order to work out the actual change in dollars, I multiply. Now do you see, I'm only one step away from turning that red line into this one. If I now ask the question in reverse, and not ask for, can you tell me how much money I add? But what the percentage changes? What do I do to this line, to both sides of the equation, to turn it into this line? Look carefully, I'm trying to solve for, like, this is my x, I want to have this equal something. What do I do to both sides? I have to divide by something, right? I have to divide by 2,400, the original amount. Let me write it down for you, right? If I divide this by the original amount, this is an equation, so you divide the left-hand side, you better divide the right-hand side. But look what's happening. I know this is all wordy and that kind of thing. That's because I don't want you to get lost in algebra. These are all just still numbers, right? You can see on the right-hand side what happens to this fraction. It cancels, right? You see that? So now what have I got written? The percentage change, that's all that's left over there on the right-hand side, is the change in dollars, $580.80, divided by, not the new amount. It's not the new amount you're dividing by. It's the original, and that's why that's this number right here, this 2,400, okay? This is a source of confusion for mathematics general students and even two unit students, they're like, which one am I supposed to compare with? Answer, the original. Do I have a number? Can I get a decimal? Um, okay, so this is gonna hand you, the calculator will say 0.24, no, two, et cetera. Two, okay, two, so yeah. I, I like to actually show, like this is a decimal and I know how to interpret that as a percentage, so, so then I multiply by 100%. I did this wrong, I did this wrong. Okay. I did it, like I jumped a step. He, she already added, did the You've multiplied by 100 yeah. which is fine, but I just, I like to write that to show that mm, I know what these numbers mean and I know that percentage is there, okay? So, last thing I want to mention, uh, and this is weird, okay? What were the two years? How much growth was there over the two years? There was, in the first year, 15%. Second, second year, 8%. 15 plus 8% is 23%, but that's not the answer I got at the end. Why not? Because this second year, 
right? That 8% that you got added on, it's 8% of something bigger than what you started with. So that's why it ends up being extra large. And that's the way compound interest works. It's also why it's a bit counterintuitive, but if you start with like say, if you start with this amount, right? And in the first year, you have a 10% increase. And then in the second year, you have a 10% decrease. Even though the percentages are the same, you don't end up with the same amount. Do you end up with less or do you end up with more? We don't need to guess. We don't need to guess. 2400. Let's do this all in one hit. What do I multiply by a single number to get this extra 10%? 110%. Very good. That's 1.1. What do I multiply by for the second year to get the decrease in 10%? 90%, right? Now, hold on a second. As Maddie hopefully mentioned, I can say these um, percentages. I can say them as decimals, right? That's 1.1. What's 90% as a decimal? 0.9. Now, if you struggle with this one, your calculator will help you. But 1.1 times 0.9 is 0 0.99. Is that bigger or is it smaller? It's very slightly smaller. It's very slightly smaller. Now why is that? Why is going up by the same percentage and going down by the same percentage giving me a worse off picture at the end? Why? Because the 10% of the larger number is larger. <laughs> Ten percent of a bigger number is bigger. Get that, right? And this is the crazy, this is why it's a whole new idea on its own. These are percentages, right? But percentages are not all created equal. This 10% is 10% of this number. But this 10% is bigger, right? Because the number got bigger in the first year, okay? So 10%, 10%, you actually lose more than you gained, okay? So percentage increase is a weird idea because percentages sort of muck with your brain a little bit, okay? 